Well, good evening, gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. And we're coming to you live from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV, and you're more than welcome to join us, of course. We're at 617 708 3290. Dave and the great staff at BNN are in the other room answering the phones. Give them a call and let them know what's going on artfully in your community. You may notice that I'm not here with the lovely Valerie Elias, and today she is out on location doing some artful stuff around the city, as she is, she tends to do. But I'll tell you, it is my great pleasure and honor to bring to the set the general manager of Community Access TV here in the city of Boston, the Donna Digital uh, uh, Communication, and I'm proud to say, really good friend of mine, Mr. Curtis Henderson. Hey, Glenn. Curtis, how are you, brother? I'm doing great. Hey, thanks an awful lot for coming in and sitting in with us today. Thank you for asking. Um, you have been the Grand Poobah here for... Oh, 70, 75 years. How long have you been doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I've been here about 30 years. 30 years, yeah. Curtis. I mean, you know, we just celebrated not too long ago uh, 30th anniversary, right. and, um, which, was, which was an incredible milestone in, in any organizational uh, agenda. But for cable access in, in the city, I, I always try to talk a little bit when... when we opened the show about BNN TV and about what cable access is. Uh, can, you, can you give us a, a, you know, that elevator pitch? Cable access came to us 35 years ago as an opportunity for the community to have a voice. How have you seen the, it's gone from analog to digital, all the changes and stuff. What do you feel has been the success or, or, of cable access? Well, as you know, there's been lots of changes mm -hmm. in the technology. Yeah. Um, so it changes the methodology of how you teach, mm -hmm. how people learn, and then how the programs that are produced, how they're distributed. So, um, you know, we're still doing good. Mm -hmm. uh, there are still a lot of people who <coughs> don't have digital tools, mm -hmm. don't have computers in their homes. Yes. Um, they don't have iPhones. <coughs> right. So we still fill the void. Right for people who don't have those tools. But there is a new um, dynamic happening, which is people are, are shooting media, editing media mm -hmm. on their phones. Right. One <clears throat> of the things, whenever I have a photographer or a videographer here, I always talk to them about the, the equipment that they're using. And it inevitably always comes around to, well, all I got to do is right. pull this out. Yeah. And, and I've got a high quality, you know, piece of, of, yeah. of work. Yeah. Have you found that to kind of cut into the mission a little bit? A little bit, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you know, 30 years ago, we were really the only game in town. Yeah. You had to go to BNN or to your community media center, wherever it was, to learn how to uh, produce programs mm -hmm. using the technology at that time, which mm -hmm. Back in the day, I mean, there used to be reel-to-reel. -reel, You're cutting um, on tape, yeah. And uh, then there was three-quarter, VHS, SVHS, all of these different platforms. Yeah. Um, so with all those changes, the technology has definitely gotten better. Um, but people don't need to use BNN as much as they did back in the day because we were the only Well, they don't. They don't necessarily need it for, for to, to make the... I'm not going to say this right, but not to make the product as, as often. I mean, because they are able to kind of do it, and GarageBand will do the music for you free from Apple or iMovie, so you can get that editing thing done on your Mac at home. Uh, but the only place you can go with it then is to share it on Facebook or something like that. I think that Boston Neighborhood Network is still the only conduit to get it on television. Right. Right. You know, the opportunity to be able to produce a program like, like I've done here for many years and uh, good friends all across the city that got a chance to do that, to get it on to t television. Right. So then the question becomes, who watches TV? Mm-hmm. Right. Not everyone watches TV like we used to watch TV. Well, the four or five <laughs> that are out there now are, are watching us, right? <laughs> I hope it's more than four or five. <laughs> You do a great show, Glenn. Uh, so we've, you, you we've, got our, yeah, we've got yeah, our people. Yeah, so there, no, you, there's people good. listening right now, Curtis. Oh, so it's a great opportunity yeah, yeah, to try yeah. and you know get that message out to them right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, with the changes, you know, you got to 
change with the time, so yeah. to speak. Um, so as I said, more and more people are using their own tools to shoot and edit, and they have the internet, you know, Facebook, all these other platforms now to distribute mm -hmm. their programming. Right. Um, when we were the only game in town, uh, TV, you know, was the, the medium. Yeah. And there's still the medium for a lot of people. A lot of folks don't have streaming media and, right. and, and um, HDTVs and right. all, all of right. that. So there's still a audience and a, and a need out there for the community mm -hmm. to have access to the tools and the training. I, I know that there are people out there watching. I was only joking about the four or five people. I know you were. Because I get guests that always tell me they run into people all the time. They've been on once. Right. And, they, and they run into somebody later on at the market or whatever, and they say, I, I can't believe right. I saw you on. Right. So there is that audience out there. Um, <clears throat> but the message as far as content and who has an opportunity to put the kind of programming on that they want, that really hasn't wavered much, has it? It has not wavered much. There's still going to be that need. Mm. People still want to tell their stories. Yeah. Um, young people, we've done some great work in the past few summers with young, I mean, through the years, but the past two summers, uh, given digital media, the kids have really done just a phenomenal job of coming up with ideas, yeah. coming up with content, shooting it themselves mm -hmm. with their peers, et cetera, and putting programs together that uh, really are impactful. And there are a lot of issues out there that people have that they want to talk about right. and express. And this is the medium well, to help people that, do that. Well, there's still that opportunity for people to come in here. I was just talking to Dr. Williams out, out in the, uh, that's her maiden name, what, the woman I was just talking to that's doing the, going to start doing some programming on, on, on sexual harassment oh, and, yes, uh -huh. and, yeah. and, and mm -hmm. battery mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that kind of thing. You know, some yeah. of the sensitive subjects right. that are kind of hard to get right. to talk about, right. this is an opportunity where people right. can come and, and kind of communicate right. with each other about that right. and make some of these things right. known. Right. And we have two studios. Yeah, you know, I was going to I was so, gonna bring that up because yeah. when I started mm -hmm. with BNN, I was talking to the doctor earlier and I was reminiscing about when I started, there was downtown Boston and there was a closet on the first floor of the transportation building, which is right in the theater district. And you'd open the door, you'd walk in, there'd be a desk half this size. You'd sit there and there's a hole in the wall with a camera stuck through it and someone go, you're on. And that would be cable access back then. Well, that was the start of of being in live. Yeah. We called it the Answer Channel. Yes, then, 24, channel right, 24. Channel 24, that's right. right. But it was a great way for nonprofit organizations to have a voice. Yeah. Because usually for nonprofits, it's very difficult for them to have their staff go take training. Right, right. Um, if, it's, if it's field production, you got to right. learn how to use the camera. You need to go out in the field. you got to light. you got to, you know, have your audio set up, et cetera. So it made it very easy for well, nonprofits. This was just one set, a constant set that you could get an opportunity right. to sit there and say, I think that every right. kid should take a... Right. You know? And you, the host would talk to the audience, yes. not to a, you wouldn't have a, a guest like me. Right. Yeah, exactly. So It was 20 minutes. At the beginning, 20 minutes, it seemed like hours you sitting there. <laughs> well, you know, it's the start of something that I think was really successful for, for BNN uh, over the years, yeah. giving nonprofits an opportunity. I think the Answer Channel was the, was the big, big kick. It really put us out there yeah, as yeah, far as yeah, being yeah, that yeah. place to go yeah. to get the information. Yeah, yeah. It was very innovative at that time, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but we, then we were separated in two sections of the city for a while. Right. Well, we've actually, prior to then, we yeah. had at least maybe four. There were four access centers? Four centers. Really? Right, right. We used to be at the Bates Arts Resource Center on Harrison Avenue. Okay. Um, we were at the uh, Blackstone School. Um, we were always in Roxbury at the uh, Over at the, the mall, mall, right? Yeah. Right? And so we've had various centers around the city uh, mm -hmm. over the years. So, and it was tough to, to operate too. Having well, then you, you're locations. all over the place, and, right. and kind of, and it's not not all, it's difficult to know what's going on from one program to another. To another, right? Uh, and and then there came a time when you know we, we have we have the West Roxbury Arts Association mm -hmm. on tonight, and and, uh, and uh, the great president and, and founder Ann Quinlan was asking me when she came in. She goes, "What is this building?" Yeah. You know, and uh, we were fortunate a while ago now. Yeah to come across a great partnership with Urban Edge exactly. in historic Boston. Mm -hmm. And uh, we 
brought everything under one roof. Talk a little bit about the experience of, of, of living in this, which you do live in this building. <laughs> well, it's surprising to me, uh, too, that it's been eight years. Has it been eight years? <coughs> it has <coughs> actually nine years, oh. 2016, nine years. We, wow. We've been here since 2007. I remember walking into this building and having to wear a gas mask and Tyvek suits. Because yeah. it was just, it was pretty, pretty. It was abandoned for years. Twenty years. Yeah. Oh. It's that vacant. Yeah. So um, we were able to bring the building back, bring it online in the Eggleston community, um, help to revitalize the Eggleston right. Uh, right. square, and so we're part of the uh, you know community development right. and economic development. It's amazing. So this building is actually is it's it's really incredible. Yeah. Um, I still love it here. And I yeah. Still, oh, still I love, absolutely love you do. Coming to work. You and know? and yeah. well, you know something. I think turning on the it was a power station, and I remember us all running around at the beginning, plugging things in and, and putting chairs and tables together and stuff, and saying we're turning on the power. Right. We're exactly. We're bringing back the power. The power. The power. And, exactly. and onward and upward. Yep. And and I think that it's uh, it's an amazing accomplishment which you've led all these many, what did we say, 65 years? 30 years. 30 years. I'm busting you because I turned 60 this month. Really? Yeah. Well, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> a lot of people freak out about age, but it's like it is what it is. This you know? one might freak me out a little bit. I don't know. Yeah? But, yeah. Uh, but we've you, you, you've led, you've led a, an amazing team of, of people um, one of which who's been with you for many years, Mr. Jim Atwood. Jim, yeah. And, and, uh, and the two of you have, have led this whole organization in this incredible building to newer heights. Well, we've always had a team. Yeah. I mean, between board members, yep. other staff, people mm -hmm. in the community. It has to be a team effort. You sure. can't do these things alone. Sure, of course. So, um, you know, I really look back over the years and all the many, many people that have had something to do with uh, making BNN what it is. Right. It's been it's just been a great, incredible journey. Yeah, I've been I've really enjoyed my affiliation from back in in the nervous days of, of getting enough material for a show a month, and then taking on that twenty minutes a week and and growing to where we're, we we feel right at home here, you know. And and it's it, it's been a great experience for me and uh, and my family and of course for for the arts community that that we try to represent it's uh, it's always been it's been great and you as a board member as um, well as a I producer a, yes um incredible give back you know yeah. and um that's what we're supposed to do that's right thank you yeah, thank welcome. you curtis yeah, yeah, i appreciate welcome. it yeah. um one of the things I like to talk about is how people get to get into this building, because this station right here, Channel 9, that you're watching at home right now, is all about, it's, it's driven by nonprofits. If you have a nonprofit and you want to get in here and talk about your mission statement or you want to share with, with the community what you're doing or bring in amazing guests, explain it better than you can, this is the place to do it. If you go to www.bnntv.org, Click on Jim Atwood or Janice Williams, who's the management person, manager, per, uh, membership, membership. Per, mm -hmm. person here. Mm -hmm. They'll give you all the information on becoming a, a member here. And one of the things that's available here is is this incredible, audio, uh, this incredible lab downstairs. Timothy Smith Foundation has put a state of the art mm -hmm. editing suites and labs downstairs where people can come and do their editing. Right, exactly. And then across across the aisle here is access. Now access is a little different than this this side. Access you kind of take you take courses and learn how to do Final Cut Pro and lighting and audio and then you sign off some equipment and go shoot the local It's the do it yourself model. Yeah, yeah. You do it. Mm. You learn it and you do it. Yeah. And it's yours. You put it together and you've created what you've created. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the same thing happens in the studios as well, but when you take equipment out and go out into the field, you never know what you're going to get. Right, exactly. You know, you've got all kinds of other issues to deal with when yep. you're shooting in the field. And then your concept about what you're putting together, that mm -hmm. has to come together in the editing yep. phase. So it's a great, it's a great skill. Yeah. And have. Barbara is, is, runs that side of, of things. On the studio and, side. On the mm -hmm. studio side. But if you're interested in doing some of this kind of thing, please go to www.bnntv.org. Click on Janice or Jim's name. They'll get you all the information you need. And th this is the place to do it. The other thing that you talked about is that the impact in the community that BNN made, <clears throat> 
Main Streets is our, is our great benefactor here. They're the ones that kind of keep us going. So, so I, I like to always let people mm -hmm. know that Main, Main Streets, Main Streets mm -hmm. program, you've been a <clears throat> member of Main Streets oh, for years. Yes. What it is is it's, they, it's, an, it's a volunteer-driven organization that helps revitalize business districts around, mm -hmm. around the city. There's about 22 of them now. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they work with the property owners to get the right demographic information so they'll know what kind of business to put on the first floor. Mm -hmm. And once that's in there, then there's a design committee that helps you look mm -hmm. like you're supposed yep. to mm -hmm. and all that. And a promotions committee that puts on events to bring people down. Down, exactly. You know, yeah, so if yeah. you see somebody wearing a Main Streets t-shirt, please thank them for Curtis, Val, and myself. Please let them know that you appreciate the work that they do for their community. Mm -hmm. They're only doing it because they love where they it's, live. It's a great program. It's a super program. program. It's been around for yeah, quite a while. Quite a while. Yeah. Quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, thank you again for I, I stepping in. Val's out on location, and, 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 and uh, you know you're always welcome to come up here and uh, tell me how Check great I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done an amazing no, job. No, no, seriously, I'm seriously. I'm kidding. I mean, the work that you've done with the art community, it's yeah. like incredible. Well, it's like tonight. You know, we have the West Roxbury Arts Association in here, and uh, the, the gallery that you've led us hang art on, on the walls out here. We're going to take a walk out there and visit out there in just a very few seconds. And then we're going to meet one of the artists and we're going to talk to the director of them and all that stuff. Sounds good. Curtis. Curtis, thank you. Keep up the good work. We're trying, Curtis. Thank I you really so much. appreciate it. We, we appreciate it thank as well. You. Thank Listen, you. Listen, you're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams. We're coming to you live from Studio B. We'll be back in just a couple of seconds. Please don't go away. I'm going to take a walk out into the gallery. We're going to meet a bunch of people. We'll be right back.
Well, welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. We're coming to you live from BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams. We are now out in the gallery, like I promised, right outside of the studios here at BNN. And the West Roxbury Arts Association is here with us. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Welcome. Thank you very much for coming. This gallery is something that's been a dream of a lot of people here at BNN TV. And what it is, is it is local community groups have been allowed to come in and hang their work up here. This is one right here I want to take a look at. Ann Quinlan, are you here? Ann, come on over here, please. How are you? Thank you Good. so much. We're going to Thank get you together for having us. In a little bit, we're going to get together in the studio and really get into the nuts and bolts about the West Rocks Riots Association. Okay. But tell me about this beautiful painting here. Well, the, the, uh, the lighthouse came from a picture, and there is no golf course right at that lighthouse. But I put the <laughs> golf course in of course. for someone who was a golfer. That's beautiful. Uh, mm. What medium is it? Oil. They're all oil. Oil. Now, you are the president and f one of the founders of the West Roxbury Arts Association. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. You guys have been at it since the seven... 1973. 73. 73. That's, that's yeah. a great yeah. run. Congratulations yeah. on that. Uh -huh. We're going to get into it a little bit more later, okay? okay? But we're going to move down now a little bit. Okay. Is, uh, is Sa Sarah's here, right? Sarah. Yeah. Come on, everybody move down with us. Come on. This is part of This my is Sarah Hamlin. Hamlin. Yes, Hello. and Sarah is a photographer here at, in West Roxbury. Tell me a little. I love this shot because you're in it. I am. <laughs> I am in it. I'm, um, I, this is my cookie series, favorite cookie series. And this is Maria's in the North End and all those wonderful colored cookies. And then she also has this little picture um, of some Flemish painting of people celebrating oh, and I always, always remember nice. that from from bakeries when and, I was a and kid. And the framing is very original too. Isn't yes it? and I, I learned to do the framing oh, at Framers Workshop right. along with See, Chris. I just thought I forgot me. about that. Yeah. Oh, that's really really uh, amazing. That's great. It's very festive so I took a Tell couple. me are you a member of the West Roxbury Arts I Association? Am. Tell me about that. How's that going? Well that's great. We, are, we have wonderful hosts at the West Roxbury Library mm -hmm. and we have demonstrations and then members also teach classes. That's great. And we have all kinds of mediums so I'm doing photography but I also do watercolor I know and my that. mom does oil yes, paintings she does. Yeah, and yeah. we all learn to frame and give each other um, well, that's talks. Fun. So that's fun. That's it's great. great fun. That's great. Oh, we're going to move down. Is Owen, is Owen still here? Owen Jackson? There he is. Owen, thank you so much for coming in. Sure. I love this here. This is beautiful. Thank what's, you. what's the medium here? It's oil on canvas. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. They work strictly in oils. I love them. They're a lot of fun. I have a lot of time to work with them. Uh, you can do a lot of blending, shading. Yeah, yeah. They take hours to dry, and that's being yeah. conservative. <laughs> yeah. Gives you time to correct mistakes. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's very beautiful. How, when, how did you guys hear about coming here to BNN? Is it something that, uh, that kind of showed up in a newsletter or something like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was in a newsletter, and uh, I, I flipped on the show a couple of times to watch to see just what was what. If it's for real? Like, yeah, yeah. No, it looked kind of interesting. Good. Well, it, it's, it's a nice way to get out to the neighborhoods. You're going to join us in the studio, too, in a couple of minutes, aren't yes. you? Oh, that's going to be great. You know what I want to do is I want to take a couple of big steps back because we do have, we do have somebody in, in the group here that's been, been an avid, uh, not only artist, but also an advocate of the arts, and she has worked tirelessly on many, many different things. Uh, old, old pal Chris, Rob Glenn. Chris <laughs> Robbins is here. Chris, how are you? I'm great, Glenn. When I heard that you were going to be part of this show, I was so happy. I said, "Oh, this is great. It's going to be good." Old home to week, yeah. It's going to be good to see you. How have you been? I've been well, and I appreciate Cindy Moots from the committee here yeah. got us in the show with your help. And yeah. Uh, yeah, tell us about this. This is your art has always been one of my favorites. This is thank you, Glenn. Tell me it's what you're doing here. A friend in upstate New York had this farm, and I actually did this as a demo for the Dedham Art Association. Uh -huh. um, they asked. Oh, me you did it. This was one of your demo. It was, oh, that's yeah. great. It wasn't. It was about 85 percent done at the end of the of the meeting, and so I finished that up. And uh, so that's that one. And. The one right here is Mexico, a botanical garden in Mexico near Puerto Vallada. It's beautiful. Thank you. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming in and being part of this. Look, at, we do this the first Monday of every other month. Uh, we have different artists. We've had people from Jamaica Plain. We've had Rosneel, obviously. We've had people from all over the city coming in and getting an opportunity to share their art here 
on public all the time. So if you're interested in coming in and seeing some of that, go to www.bnntv.org, click on Janice Williams' name, and she'll give you all the information about getting your arts association shown here at the BNN Studios. We're still looking for a name for the BNN Studios. Is Curtis still back there? He is. Okay, good. Uh, listen, we're going to take a quick, quick break. We're going to jump back into the studio. You're watching BNN TVs. It's all about arts. My name's Glenn, and I'm your host. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Don't go away, okay?
Well, welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. You're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. And I want to remind everybody that you can see this show later on because it'll be up on YouTube, on our YouTube station. If you go to your station and type in It's All About Arts in the number one, you'll get uh, all of the shows that we've been doing here at BNN. And they're all stored up and ready for you to to look at and check out and get some more information. And also, please, join us on Facebook. If you go to uh, Facebook and uh, put in It's All About Arts, uh, you'll, uh, you can like our, our, our Facebook page. And it's not just about the television show. It's about all the arts, art, art, artistic things going on around the New England area. Val's View is there. Uh, you can see, also see Val's View on the inside cover of the city paper every single week. But uh, enough of that. Right now, it is my great pleasure and honor to, to introduce you and welcome to the studio uh, uh, the, some of the great members and artists who have been talking about and featuring out in our gallery this month. And next, uh, Ann Quinlan, who is the president and co-founder of the West Roxbury Arts Association. Ann, thank, thank you sure. so much for coming in. I appreciate it. And Owen Jackson, a, an artist with the uh, Arts Associate, with, uh, with the, a member of the uh, association, and you got some pieces out here, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I love the sunset one. I'm a color guy. It's just it's the way it jumps out at you. Me too. Okay, great. And let's take, let's get some of the business out of the way for a couple of seconds. Uh, the West Roxbury Art Association is going into its, how many years now has it been? We've, uh, we started in 1973. I was one of the four members. We started on a little table at the West Roxbury Library. That's, you were just getting out of high school at the time. How did you know? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and yes, it has meager, meager beginnings, doesn't it? It, it's did. Just, it, it did, and uh, it was started by um, a girl who was a psychiatrist told her that uh, she was under stress and uh, she was artistic and that she should go back to art. Yeah. So she left a message at the library saying, um, and the librarian said to me, because she knew that I did art, and she said, we're going to have a meeting. So there were four of us that showed up. And that's the beginning. And she started in. Her and what? And, and and how big is the is the arts association now? You've had many members. I'm we, sure we it comes about through. And eighty-three. Go. That's that's great. Yeah. That's uh -huh. great. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about some of the things that the the that the West Roxbury Arts Association is up to these days. Well, Owen is the exhibition chairman, and through his help. Uh, we have two exhibits at the library, one in May and one in November each year. And then at the end of the year, we give a $1,000 scholarship to a high school student graduating who will go on to college and, 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 and study, study the arts. arts, study anything in art. That's a great mm -hmm. accomplishment to be able to do that yearly for, for a deserving student. What does a student need to do to to kind of be considered for that. Is there a website they go to? Uh, Louisa down at, at her shop has uh, uh, the forms that okay. they fill out and then they do a short story of, of what they like to do, what medium they like to use and why, that they, why they're interested in art. Mm -hmm. But you know, last, uh, last uh, spring it was very sad. We didn't have one person Well, we're gonna fix. We're gonna fix that this year. So any senior uh, in high school in West Roxbury or Rosendale. So it's West Roxbury, Rosendale. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Dedham or any surrounding it's community right, yeah, that wants to apply. Kids, kids want to be artists. We mm -hmm. need them. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, is it is it just the visual arts? Yes, it's well, it's uh, the visual arts that are framed that can go okay. on. Okay. Uh, so it's not dancers no, or musicians no, or something no, like that. So we're uh, talking about no. the visual. Uh -huh. Okay. No, that's an important stipulation to know. That's yes. Uh -huh. Painters, photographers. Fine art and photography. And photography. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, how long have you been painting? Now that we've got, well, what's, is there a website that you guys have that we can go to? Well, I have Facebook. Uh, we have a great I Facebook, Facebook page. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's how people will get in touch with you. You know, yeah. if you go to a it's all about our, the website. You can we'll have all of that linked up to Ann's name, so you just have to click on Ann's name and it'll go to it contact and all that. Okay. Kind of we thing. also I started the art academy, and we I have students, and we paint at St. John's Christensen Church every up Monday on, afternoon. On, really, up on Washington Street. Uh huh. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and it's a, a lovely room. And we we could use more and more people up there painting with us. That's of course. And they they bring their own medium and they bring what they want to paint, 
And so... Um, uh, and are you teaching all mediums? I'm there to help them. Okay, uh -huh. that's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. How many students do you have there? Well, sometimes uh, there's up to seven or eight, and sometimes it goes down to four in the middle of winter. Seven or eight is manageable. <laughs> we want to get it up to 30. I know, well, <laughs> it's a nice room, yeah. nice, nice uh, light and nice right. lighting and nice windows, and they're very nice to us up there. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, and thank you, too, for coming on and, be, and being here with us. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that art association. How long have you been a member? Oh, five or six years. Okay. And, uh, and what brought you to the, to the uh, West Roxbury Arts Association? Well, I started painting in the middle 70s, mm -hmm. and I got away from it. Uh, there were a lot of things going on in my life. I was sure. busy, uh, and Well, I, I retired uh, a few years back. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> and uh, I decided to get back to painting, and I just I happened to see... Uh, you know that uh, they, when I was at the library, they had an art association, and I looked into it and I said, "Yeah, why not? That's kind of a nice thing to do. We right. all have uh, we all have something in common, yep. and a very nice group of people, and nice variety of, of artwork. That's great. All sorts of different things. Now, you are now the ex exhibition director, or mm. yeah, I'll hang the uh, <coughs> exhibitions at the. the oh, you're the, the guy that hangs the art. Yeah, okay. the, li the library. <laughs> I am us. too. <laughs> They let us use a. a oh, you a have a nice room there. Room there. That's a nice room yeah, for, for nice. hang pieces. It's not very big, but you have outside too. Outside. Yeah, of we have the hallway. Of the hallway. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What kind of shows have you been been working on and preparing for? Are there group shows coming up, and do you feature individual artists as well? Mm, no, we just uh, the art association uh, twice a year. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, maybe pick a theme. Yep. Sometimes no theme, whatever you just you know uh, would like to bring in to have displayed, yeah. and uh, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just hang in the library right. and uh, they give, it to, give us the room for a month. It's just kind of a nice way to... So there's uh, other things revolving in that room besides just, just you guys? Mm -hmm. They have book sales. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. They use it for a number now, of things. Now, do you, do you guys attempt to hang any place else? Any of the businesses up in the area and stuff we like that? Altenheim. Oh, you are over the, at the, the German, German Center. Center. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they mm -hmm. let us hang. They have hang a nice out. space over it's there. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot I've of been people in and out of there. Yeah. And you see a lot of people stop and look at the artwork. That's on the good. Way in they're, or out. they're very nice to us. Yeah, I did a talk over there once. It was, it was really, really kind of a nice space. I felt really comfortable in that little area that they have for mm -hmm. the art. And yeah, it goes they're down very the nice. corridor. They've and been stuff. very nice to us. And yeah. each, uh, each member can, can put their painting there uh, for two months. That's nice. My paintings happen to be there now, along with Stephanie Shear, who has a couple of the paintings in your gallery. And, uh, and uh, so uh, for, for two months, and mm -hmm. any, anyone who's a member, and uh, um, uh, all our members are active, and anybody who wants to can, can. Of course, some people don't like to show their art. There. No, that you know that that's it's, been something that drives me crazy. I sometimes. know. It, yeah. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. You know. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, you know. Okay, we got the business out of the way. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, the premise of this program has always been to meet the artists and find out a little bit about about them and, and their working working habits. Um, how, have, have you, has painting always been part of your life, and has, has being an artist and creating works? Well, probably about 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, when, when I got out of high school. When you got out of high school. <laughs> now, your medium, what is your medium today? Oil. Has it always I, been oil? I, I love oils. Yeah. Yeah, but I can also do acrylic, and, uh, and I've taken a watercolor class, Ugh. and so... I always get brown paper when I use watercolors. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Mm, yeah. Oh, bad. <laughs> Lots of brown paper. I gotta take one of your classes up bad. in West, up at St. John's. <laughs> That's right. Um, but oils, oils is your is your is your medium. Yes, it takes about a week to dry, especially yeah. the white. It yeah. Takes a week to dry. Well, but are, are you working on canvas all the time, or are yes. you using other, other? I like I like canvas. I like the bounce of uh, the brush on the canvas. Now, what inspires you? Uh, is it something that you'll you'll notice when you're out and about someplace, maybe, or you'll take a picture with your with your phone, or 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 something that'll inspire you. Well, to we do were talking on the way in, Owen and I, and we were saying you really have to love what you're painting. And mm -hmm. I always tell the students to love what they're painting, and if it's not going right, don't be worried. You, know, you can always toss it out in the rubbish. It's only a painting. 
That's right. It's only a painting. <laughs> Um, are you able to work on several pieces at once because of the medium being oil and it having such a hard, not hard time to dry? It would drive me crazy waiting. I'd, just, I'd be poking at it all the time. Well, I'm a fast painter. In two days, I could do a painting. Oh, really? If I, I could do it in, in, one, in two hours. I've done it in class. I, okay. paint, I paint along with my students. Okay. And if there's any problem that I'm working on, I have them come over and I show them how I'm going to fix it. Oh, that's good. So okay. when they can go back to their painting, they can, they can perhaps keep it in mind. So you're, teach, you're teaching more by example than instruction. It's by example. I paint along with them. And so in the two hours, I have painted a, a large painting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you must have a lot of paintings. <laughs> if it's anything like my house, I know you've got a lot of paintings. Well, well, I've started making prints of the paintings that's smart. as that's well. Good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh -huh. And um, it, is there an open studio nearby you guys? We don't have any West Roxbury situation where we can all sit and paint. We have often spoken about No, I that. mean open studios where for a weekend you'll display the work and everybody oh. will come and... I think the people of West Roxbury are kind of cautious uh, about having people in their houses. Oh, okay. You know? Well, I understand that. Yeah, yeah. sure. And so, uh, um, so far we haven't had it. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps the future generations... There he is, right that, there next to you. He's the one that's going to bring it to <laughs> that, you. That run the Yacht Association, right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, and what's the medium that you prefer to work in these days? Oil. You're an oil I've oilist always as well. Worked in oil. Yeah, and and is, is painting been part of your, your gig forever or? Uh, I never knew I had any talent in really? that in that direction at all. Years ago, uh, a friend of mine's wife had some oil paints and she was about to throw them in the trash. She was frustrated. Uh, said she <laughs> she just couldn't do anything with them. Yeah. And I said, look, I always wanted to try that. Could I borrow them? She says, you can take them. They're yours. Take Get them, them out of my yours. sight. Yeah. And I, I think more than anyone else, I surprised myself at what I, what I was able to uh, come up with. Yeah. I watched some TV shows and read some books and went to the, the art museum, took some photos. And yeah. Look, you know, tried, tried to look at brush strokes mm -hmm. and, and uh, I just experimented. See, vi visual arts is... is, is is something that can be taught, but to get that feel and that nook of being able, it's got to be something that comes out of you naturally. And to discover that is 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 an awakening and a half. It sure it is. Really oh, is. I was sure delighted is, yeah. to find that I uh -huh. could oh, do that. Oh, sure, uh -huh. sure. And and you're right about it being a uh, being something that's therapeutic to to. Uh, oh, it's as good as going to a psychiatrist uh, for two hours. Sure, it's mm -hmm. and cheaper too. <laughs> you know. But, but I, I have a lawyer. And he has said that at the end of class. That I he, feel better and this he, was cheaper. That he feels a lot better after painting. <laughs> well, I think what it does is it, 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 it not only gives you a, a, a vessel to, to kind of get some frustrations out or get some stress out of yourself too, but, mm -hmm. but also like, you've, like you discovered, you went, oh, I didn't know I could do this. So now there's, there's, some, there's a bit of, of self-worth mm -hmm. and oh, self- Oh, it's very re rewarding. Rewarded, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Now, is it, is it, is, do you see yourself trying different mediums here and there? Uh, not with can we much, ever get you to not with much success. Can I, we get I, you I to tried. decoupage some, uh, some, <laughs> some mugs or something, maybe? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. I'm doing a little gilding right oh, now. I, I, I well, made that's... a quarter board for my uh, daughter and son-in-law for their place down the Cape, and I'm, uh, my first, uh, experience with gold leafing Ooh, good luck lettering. Mm. it's it's tedious but it's fun yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so how, how, i'm willing to experiment no absolutely how about you ann are you uh a lot, a lot of the men i was just going to say uh, love to uh, work with palette knife yeah i do a lot mm. of my work is with the palette knife yeah uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. it's just because it it, it I just love the, the the blending of the colors and yes. and being able to you never know what you're going to get. You don't know; it's a surprise for yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. How about, how about oh, oh, and do you work on several pieces at once? Is it something that you do? You have a dedicated space to work. I do. You do. That's very I lucky. Do. You're lucky yeah. to have that because uh -huh. you come back and the space is the way you left it. Right. You know. Right. Do you use anything for inspiration? I mean, are you listening to the Rolling Stones or the Talking Heads or, uh, or what do you put on? I the find <laughs> when when I start painting, I I usually put on some laid back classical music. Sure. Yeah. It's just you know background, very relaxing yeah. and just kind of 
you, right. you don't notice it's there, but it's there. Well, it's white. It's, it, it, it adds to the ambience. Yes. Mm -hmm. how, about, how, about, mm -hmm. how about you, Anne? You well, in class, everyone talks to each other, and we know everybody's problems, and we, <laughs> oh, and so, we solve everything. So it's a real therapeutic so session. <laughs> yes, yes, and we all, we all chime in, and, and we have a, a constructive critique. And, That's and, good. And we can uh, That's healthy to have. look at everybody's paintings and, yeah. uh, and discuss it, and uh, it works out for a lot do of you people. Have a, do you have a gallery where you can work, a studio where you, can, where you work? Well, I have uh, the Breezeway at my house. I, yeah. I, I, I give my lessons out there, yeah. too. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. my up and went. It's beautiful background. And, Mm -hmm. Nice and cold during the winter time, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. What's coming up next for you guys? Do you have something coming up we want to tell everybody? We're going to keep letting people know about the scholarship. Ann, can you get some of that information to us here at BNN? Fine, that would be great. You know, so that we can get some people to maybe say, you know, hey, here's, be great. here's an opportunity. You mm -hmm. know, if you're a senior in high school and, and you're in the area. And, and perhaps if they were invited to our meetings now, March 28th, we have the um, artist who teaches at Roxbury Latin is mm. going to do a demonstration. Oh, very nice. What is his name? And then the art teacher at Roxbury Latin. Everybody knows that's who that right. Is. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, April is Nancy Howell. You know that. Yes, name, I do. Howell. I know that name. And then uh, in uh, May we have a critique night, and each member can bring in two paintings. And Edwina Cashy, mm -hmm. you know her. Mm -hmm. She's going to do the critique, and that's usually a wonderful night. Now, if somebody you, was walking by everything. the West Roxbury Library, could they go in and get information there about how to join the West Roxbury Arts Association? Uh, usually the farms are down at Louise's shop. Where's down, Louise's shop? Down at Picture This. Oh, okay. Oh, I know where that is. She's the vice president. Mm -hmm. She's too busy to come in here tonight? Is that what's the problem? Uh, she lives in Marshfield. Oh, so that'll she do has it. Her head home. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll do but it. But she said hello to everybody. Okay, well, thank you. Well, we miss her. Make sure you tell her that, sh that she can see this program on YouTube in a couple of days mm -hmm. so she can go I'll and critique you guys, yeah. see how you did. Um, what we, we, we got just, we've just got a couple of minutes right now, and one of the things I, I like to ask our, our art friends, and you guys seem to be doing it. When it comes time to marketing that piece, you're making prints now of pieces. You know, you're making them affordable for people to be able to have art mm -hmm, in their home. Mm -hmm. uh, it, does the West Roxbury Arts Association help people with any of their marketing? Uh, are there, do you ever bring someone in to kind of sit and talk about, you've done a great painting, you've put it over here, you've started another one, but I think, you know, that one needs to be... No, we could use a lot of help. Yeah, okay, good. That's, that's an, we that's could use a, a lot of help. Because one of the things that I've mm -hmm. discovered is that artists are fabulous about doing their work. And, but, and, as far and, as and, but as far as marketing. But as far as, there's a big pile of, of beautiful pieces here that would uh -huh. look great in some businesses someplace or look great in, in uh, the walls of Starbucks or wherever. A lot you know? of our members sell down in Louisa's shop. Okay. We have our well, that's great for there. the frame shop. It's a frame shop, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now you're displaying the, sh the frames in, in what they, you know, in, what, in an mm -hmm. environment that they can mm -hmm. kind of be she cool She has with. a lot of the pictures of the members. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for oh, coming in. We're very proud great. to have the work in here. Thank you. Yeah, it wasn't, didn't hurt too much, did it? Not, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> not much. Not much, did it? Well, thank you very much for being here, Anne, and all. Yeah. I, I appreciate it. Much luck. Hang in there and keep doing, keep, keep doing what you're doing, because one of the things that's keeping art in the communities are these grounds root, grassroots arts associations. Well, yes. thank you, you for know, having us. No, thank you really for letting us display fact, our work. No, it's our, it's our honor and our pleasure. I, mm -hmm. I'm actually going over to South Boston this weekend to see the South Boston Arts Association and meet with oh, them with for Dan a Dan McCall. Dan McCall was sitting in that yes. seat last week. Was he? Yes. Oh, I love Dan. Isn't him, he yeah. great? Yes. Yeah, he's yes, such so much. Yes, they've yes. opened a gallery over there now. Yes, they're yeah. very excited. Oh, about they're, that. they're all over oh. themselves. It's great. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but, very but I'm, I'm going over to meet with them on Saturday. I used Saturday to teach night. in South Boston, right on Dorchester. Oh, good. At the Gavin Junior High. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. So Southie is my hometown. Okay, I worked in the, I worked at the Gillette Company for a million years. Oh, did you? Yeah, yes. I was in there for Isn't a that where time. his gallery is now? It's gonna. It's up on Dorch It's on uh, uh, Dorchester Street. No. Yes. Oh, instead of Dorchester Avenue. Right. There's the two of them. Oh. Yeah, it's on the mm -hmm. street. You go up Broadway and where it goes off to the beach down on the right. 
Oh, okay. I'd love to see it sometime. I'm going over Saturday. Ellie, he's a great know. artist to watch. Oh, he's a fabulous to watch artist. Watch him painting at Marina Bay. Oh, he, yeah. He always paints outdoors, and he's just marvelous. He's got an incredible picture of, of Bill Belichick that I just love. Of Bill Belichick, yes, yes, the Patriots yes, yes. coach. I've seen that online. Yeah. Thanks, uh -huh. guys. You say thanks. goodbye with us. Thank you. you say, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Chance, say bye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Listen, gang. Thanks an awful lot for being here. Listen, uh, get out there and do something artful for yourself, will you? Go up and visit him in West Roxbury. Go by the frame shop on Center Street, mm -hmm. and it's right across from Center. From right next to Jack Davis. Right, across, right next to Jack. Across Davis. from Roxbury mm -hmm. Latin. Right across from Roxbury Latin. Go over there, drop in, say hello, tell them that you and saw the show. And the meeting on March 28th. Everybody's invited to mm -hmm. host, to watch the uh, art teacher from oh, Roxbury great. Latin. Well, that's going to be great. Let's get let's get. You're the, invited too. If oh, you're well, thank you. Even though I'm from Rosendale. Even though you're from. <laughs> 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 Very good. <laughs> you know, I'm leading. I'm leading the, the charge to change the name of the parkway to the West Ro from West Roxbury Parkway to the Rosendale Parkway. I hope you're not going to be upset with that. <laughs> no, because I'm on the VFW Parkway. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, gang. Thanks an awful lot for being here. This was a lot of fun today. Listen, Thank get you. out and do something artful. And like we like to see every week, please keep in the forefront of your minds our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews on foreign soil. Please. Do something off, we'll do it for them. Hello to my new my new great great niece was born. Lily was oh, born congratulations. a couple of days ago. I'm oh just wow. Getting great withering niece. away right in front of great everybody. Niece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks an awful lot, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye bye now.